Hi friends, very good morning all of you. Welcome back to CAP classes. We are discussing auditing standards. Okay, in that today we are going to discuss SCA 570 going concern. So basically this is one of the very elementary standards. There is no nuclear science or Greek and Latin language in this. In accounting standard 1 itself, you know what is the meaning of going concern and that going concern is one of the fundamental accounting assumptions. So, whenever the financial statements are prepared by the entity, close your eyes and you assume that the entity is a going concern. That means their ability to continue in the future is not in a danger. The entity has no intention to close down the business or nor it has the necessity to shut down the business or major operations. So, one, I don't want to shut down my business. Two, I do not have any pressure or necessity to shut down business. So, I am a going concern. I want to continue my life and I have the ability to continue my life. I do not have any intention to close down my business. I do not have any pressure or need necessity to shut down my business. That is called the ability of going concern. Why going concern is important? If the entity is a going concern, then prepare accounts normally. This is called going concern basis. If the going concern assumption is violated, then the accounts are to be prepared on a basis other than going concern. That is nothing but liquidation basis. And you need a specific disclosure in notes to accounts that fundamental accounting assumption going concern is violated. That is the responsibility of the management. Now what about the auditor? Auditor should, should be alert to some indicators. Some indicators. There are three types of indicators. Financial indicators, operating indicators, other indicators. What are they? Financial indicators, operating indicators, other indicators. Now remember one thing. The presence of one or more indicators, the presence of one or more indicators need not mean that going concern is affected. Though there are many indicators, still the entity is happily a going concern. No doubt about it. Possible. But if these indicators are there, auditor will, will reduce the speed of the vehicle, stop the vehicle if required and wait and see whether the management will fall in the pit or the management can handle the bump, can handle the pit and continue its life. So the auditor will observe whether the management is going to fall in this indicator or they can survive this indicator. What are the indicators? Say for example, huge operating losses, negative net worth, no working capital, current liabilities are more than current assets, negative net assets, Net assets minus outside liabilities is negative. Net worth negative. Operating losses are more than equity and preference share capital. Reserves and uh, uh, this uh, negative surplus, that means the P&L account debit balance is more than reserves. The whole net worth is wept because of some operating losses. Negative operating cash flows. So negative working capital, negative net assets, negative cash flows. So, three financial statements. Trading p and account, p and account, balance sheet, cash flow. p and account negative means operating losses. Balance sheet negative means negative net worth. Cash flow negative means negative cash from operations. These three are basically financial indicators. End. Loans nearing maturity. Banker is not willing to renew the loan and the company has no money to repay. Debentures are nearing maturity but the company has no cash to repay. In case of a bank, where bank has to follow tier 1, tier 2 capital, they are unable to mobilize required capital through equity to increase tier 1, tier 2 to meet the capital adequacy ratio, like how S-Bank is struggling. These are financial indicators. Okay, Pawan sir, what can be operating indicators? Consistent decline in market share uncompetitive products, something like Nokia, they are falling and they cannot recover also. Severe competition, competition is washing us out, we are literally swept away. No 
you know proper uh, proper effective or uh, competitive products or services so we are beaten up badly raw material is not available technological obsolescence huge fall in the market demand for the product production system outdated demand for the product is becoming zero something like landline phone or maybe some traditional insurance policies people do not want to buy or maybe old televisions not lcd led televisions old televisions for all these things the demand is falling so if you are dealing with that are you a going concern that is the point three other indicators other indicators other indicators can be a natural calamity where you don't have insurance your factory is destroyed no adequate insurance can you survive okay then a new amended law came environmental protection act so i am running one chemical factory looking at the new new guidelines new environmental act my business is gone so i cannot continue like this they will put lock and seal to this factory new amendments to law where i cannot continue as per new law or there is a significant doubt so these are indicators events or conditions that cast significant doubt on the entity's ability to continue as going concern these are called indicators so left side look here how many indicators are there financial indicators operating indicators other indicators so read this negative key financial ratios negative working capital negative net worth all these things fixed term borrowing approaching maturity without realistic prospects of renewal or repayment excessive reliance on short term borrowings to finance long term assets negative operating cash flows indicated by historical or prospective financial statements adverse key financial ratio substantial operating losses significant deterioration in the value of assets used to generate cash flows change from credit to cash on delivery transactions with suppliers your supplier said i am not going to give credit to you bring the cash cash down carry on operating loss of key management without replacement your ceo along with four other directors he resigned and he started one more company com- competing company then loss of major market key customers franchises li- licenses principal suppliers labor difficulties shortage of important supplies raw material lack of availability emergency of highly successful compet emergence of highly successful competitor what happened to aircel and reliance communication when reliance jio came gone where is uninar now where is aircel now monuments liquidation aircel applied for liquidation now because of new competitor highly successful competitor if he comes old people gone why odafone and this idea are in doldrums today bleeding bleeding like hell even the company like airtel is bleeding okay other indicators non compliance with capital or other statutory regulatory requirements like s bank pending legal or regulatory proceeding against the entity one big court case is going on if the judgment is against you beta you are gone changes in law or regulation or government policy expected to adversely affect the entity uninsured or underinsured catastrophes when they occur so uninsured or underinsured assets you have in natural calamity these assets are destroyed no insurance coverage so watch oh my god movie the act of god so insurance no cover so will the entity survive these are indicators so what are the rap and the sap the auditor has to do what is rap risk assessment procedures what is sap what is sap bolo okay the auditor has to apply certain risk assessment procedures and certain and certain substantive audit procedures risk assessment procedures and and further audit procedures substantive audit procedures so look here risk assessment procedures when performing rap under 315 amma in our batch how many times we discussed this 315 at least 20 25 times it came isn't it so the auditor shall consider whether events or conditions exist that cast cast significant doubt on entity's ability to continue as a going concern normal point 
the auditor shall remain alert how many times we discussed this remain alert be vigilant professional skepticism throughout the audit for such indicators okay the auditor shall also see whether management has already performed preliminary assessment of entities gca very 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 important how management will do assessment of going concern assumption many students do not know many students even you go at ca final level also people do not know. simple management has to make cash flow projections the going concern ability of an entity can be tested through cash flow analysis it is not by pnl account balance sheet pavan sir projected pnl projected balance sheet prepared no projected cash flow statement is to be prepared at least for 12 months at least usually companies prepare this for 5 to 7 years okay companies i have seen companies preparing projected cash flow statement for the next 5 years next 7 years so auditor will take the management's estimation and see whether management is confident of continuing you know this in future or no now you may say pavan sir imagine management has artificially created some projections and they gave next year will be in a very good shape very rosy beautifully makeover makeup they have put lot of makeup to projections and they gave very strong projections to auditor but actually there is no that much of scene inside dummy hello but outside super duper makeup what auditor will do simple last year management projections current year actual seal compare auditor is not a fool okay last year also management has given projections that auditor compare with the actuals of current year so in 2018 what did you tell about 2019-20 whether that happened in 2019-20 he will say bold no then he will understand whether management is lying or management is doing going concern assumption properly or no based on that he will modify his audit report if required okay now what are the audit procedures simple first check whether management has done preliminary assessment or no so you go to the cfo and ask him bro have you done any going concern assumption assessment he said yes sir please give that i will evaluate whether cfo has done going concern assumption assessment properly or no and in case if cfo said no pavan sir we have not done that then i will ask him idiot first do that no you need to first do that he said pavan sir i did it for 6 months then i have to ask him do it for 12 months minimum minimum 12 months you understand then then i'll verify whether management's assumptions management's assumptions are reliable or no management plans for the future are feasible or no management plans are feasible or no for example consider s bank imagine i am i am statutory auditor of s bank imagine i went to the board of directors and i asked hey you do not meet the capital adequacy requirement you need 8000 crores 9000 crores extra unless you are able to pull that 8000 9000 crores rbi will announce you as bankrupt or as per rbi act as per banking norms you are bankrupt so what is your plan you are not a going concern now you have significant uncertainty as a going concern actually auditors has given auditors have given the report like this in case of s bank they have given in case of jet airways they have given in case of reliance communications they have given in case of dhl fl they have given in case of uh, uh, ilfs they have given so many companies they have given so as an auditor of s bank i asked the management what is the plan then they said pavan sir don't worry there is one guy in canada this happened actually there is one guy in canada very big businessman he promised that he will pay 12000 crores to the bank he will invest 12000 crores in the bank we are very safe we'll issue shares to him 12000 crores equity capital will come tier 1 all the problem solved but after few days people realized that the gentleman who wanted to invest money in this s bank from canada or from europe some guy some xyz tom dick and harry guy he himself announced for bankruptcy so he announced for bankruptcy the issue is going on in court 
as an auditor i have to ask the management have you lost your brain and common sense or do you think i am a fool or do you think your shareholders are fools or do you think the country people are fools boss you are saying a plan which is not practical show me a solid future course of action if there is any indicator if there is any problem do you have mitigating factor so your raw material supplier stopped supply do you have a contract with another supplier who can supply goods to you your ceo resigned do you have plan b do you have succession plan do you have any person who is ready to be ceo of your company have you finalized anyone has he accepted is he able can he run the show directors resigned do you have a backup missionary destroyed by fire do you have the backup what is your plan whether the plan is practical or no so what are audit procedures step 1 dear management have you done going concern assumption analysis yes sir take this no sir do this and give it to me when i take the assessment of going concern assumption by the management i see whether the assumptions made in cash flow projections are realistic whether future course of actions what management is saying pavan sir this problem we want to solve like this you just think whether they are playing around with the numbers or they have a practical plan that is what your audit procedure is now look here where management has not at performed going concern assumption assessment request to the management to make it dear management first do it to evaluate management plans for future actions whether the outcomes are feasible practically are they possible are they realistic an analysis of cash flow forecast very important how will you assess going concern ability of an enterprise analysis of cash flow forecast this can be mcq if prepared by management evaluating the reliability of underlying data whether the data is reliable determine whether there is adequate support for the assumptions you are making some assumptions you said i am getting foreign order 100 crore rupees of uh, foreign order i have got so i will sell goods to him i'll get 40 crores profit i'll be out of all these losses if that foreign order is only on paper you are making us fools no then considering whether any additional facts or information have become available since the date on which the management has made its assessments any extra information after assessment after management prepared forecast if any updates happened the auditor will consider that matter also requesting written representation about what not about going concern about the feasibility of future actions so this is the problem how you want to solve this problem write on your letter head and give dear pavan sir auditor of our company this is the problem we have identified as you enquired and this is our future course of action we are sure that this will happen because of reason 1 2 3 4 5 you understand then what is auditor's responsibility simple if there is no problem to going concern assumption i don't need to do anything if there is problem to going concern assumption management disclosed it properly still i don't need to do anything but i will include one para in my audit report significant doubt on going concern assumption i will put one side heading in my audit report and i say the entity has some indicator it is a problem it reflects that the entity is going concern ability is endangered the management identified it financial statements are properly prepared and properly disclosed i want to bring it to your notice through this para so i give clean report i give clean opinion there is no problem to true and fair financial statements for 2019 20 financial statements are true and fair view but after that something happened because of which because of which i want to bring something about going concern so my opinion on financial statements is not affected i'll give clean opinion the auditor will give clean opinion with a highlighted para material uncertainty to going concern i'll put one heading why to draw the attention of people to draw the attention of people okay so material so what is this if adequate disclosure is made case 
what is case 1 now reporting responsibilities of auditor first read part 1 like para 1 under detailed explanation read para 1 what is that use of going concern assumption is inappropriate that means what the entity is not a going concern but financial statements are prepared as if the entity is a going concern close your eyes adverse report this can be mcq very 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 important going concern assumption not appropriate but financial statements are prepared as if entity is a going concern here the auditor will give adverse report remember one rule going concern assumption never leads to disclaimer this mcq is asked already going concern problem will never lead to disclaimer never it can be qualified opinion or adverse opinion why disclaimer will be given when you cannot obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence no here you can obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence now going concern assumption not appropriate which is disclosed properly in financial statements and financial statements are prepared accordingly that means on liquidation basis on what basis you prepared them on liquidation basis so will it affect my true and fair as an auditor as an auditor i feel there is no problem to true and fair view so it is like this this is the financial year there is no problem financial statements are prepared on true and fair view here on the balance sheet date entity is perfectly a going concern subsequently something happened here which affected the going concern ability of the entity now why will i change my opinion on this financial statements still i say financial statements are showing true and fair view but my dear friends there is some problem here that is how i should tell no so i give clean opinion here auditor gives clean opinion with one extra paragraph in audit report however in audit report include what you want to include what you want to include significant uncertainty significant uncertainty or material uncertainty relating to going concern relating to going concern so you can call significant uncertainty or you can call material uncertainty both of them same in india we use the word material uncertainty material uncertainty relating to going concern this is the second case so why are you using this para the intention of this para is the intention of this para is to draw the attention to the note in the financial statement that discloses the material uncertainty state that events these events or conditions indicate that material uncertainty exists so what will i tell here you know what will i tell here read note number 24 in page number 121 so this is given by management this is given by management already disclosed management disclosed i am bringing it to the notice of shareholder again 
Dear shareholder, read that para. Do you understand that para? In that para, something happened that is creating a material uncertainty, ongoing concern. Just it is my responsibility to tell you. You understand? That is the point. Okay. Now, case two. Adequate disclosure is not made in financial statements. Close your eyes. Qualified opinion or adverse opinion. If adequate disclosure about material uncertainty is not made in the financial statements, the auditor shall express a qualified opinion or adverse opinion as appropriate. Now Chintu will get it out. Sare, what is the difference between this and this? This means you concluded use of going concern assumption is inappropriate. The entity is not a going concern. Concluded, the entity is no more a going concern, period, full stop, dot. Then adverse report. If the financial statements are prepared in accordance with going concern assumption, then adverse report. But here, here use of going concern assumption is appropriate. But there is some material uncertainty. Okay, so what is the summary? Is usage of going concern assumption appropriate here no here yes whether financial statements are prepared in accordance with Going concern assumption. No. Yes. This is a fraud. This is cheating people. So auditor will give adverse report. The financial statements are not showing true and fair view. Okay. Here auditor will bring it to the notice of shareholders why because the entity is no more a going concern but accounts are prepared on liquidation basis only so what is wrong there nothing is wrong entity is not a going concern financial statements are prepared as if entity is not a going concern so as an auditor what problem i'll have i'll not have any problem i will inform it to shareholders that's all i will inform it to shareholders Okay, I can put it in emphasis on matter paragraph or in some countries they put extra paragraph. So, this is a situation where the entity is not a going concern. Now, come to the right hand side. Come to the right hand side. Is the uses of going concern assumption appropriate? Yes. Is there a material uncertainty on the going concern assumption? Is there a material uncertainty on the going concern assumption? Okay, the answer is yes. If the answer is no, then the entity is a going concern. So no problem. Nothing needs to be done. Happy. The entity is a going concern. Feel happy. The entity is a going concern and there is no material uncertainty on going concern. So, auditor need not do anything. If there is a material uncertainty, then there are two cases. Case 1, adequate disclosure is made, adequate disclosure is not made. Here, adequate disclosure is made. Adequate disclosure is made whether adequate disclosure is made what happened to the pen okay we'll put it in different way whether adequate Disclosure is made. The answer can be yes or the answer can be no. If the answer is yes, give clean report. 
with material uncertainty to going concern assumption para so give clean report but put one extra para highlight in this case qualified opinion or adverse opinion financial statements are not prepared properly give qualified opinion or adverse opinion so if you observe this chart this chart is the summary of whole standard so the standard has two parts one is one is indicators what financial indicators operating indicators and other indicators we have then audit procedures how the auditor has to inquire the management about management's assessment of going concern assumption whether management plans are feasible whether management has prepared a projected cash flow statement whether the assumptions based on which cash flow projections are made are reasonable and practical enquire the management discuss with the management what are the plans of management these are the audit procedures risk assessment procedures you should be vigilant to the indicators you should be vigilant throughout whether the entity is a going concern or any event that casted significant uncertainty to the going concern assumption that is risk assessment procedures okay then further audit procedures substantive procedures in that you do the enquiry part then this reporting part the standard is over you understand this so read the chart once this is the standard